Well, hey there, my friends. Welcome to my channel, Ink and Whimsy. I'm Laura Daniels, and I'm so glad you decided to spend a bit of your afternoon or morning with me. Today, we're going to be doing page one of a double page 12 by 12 layout featuring the Autumn to Remember uh, scrapbooking kit by Stampin' Up. And I have such a funny story to tell you about my mom. <laughs> so I hope you'll stick around to not only see how part A and part B comes together, but to hear this story because I really think it's going to brighten your day and make you laugh. All right, so we're going to get started. As I said, we're using the Autumn to Remember kit. Now these are scrapbooking kits from Stampin' Up! And in each kit, you get everything that you need besides the glue and the scissors and the tape runner uh, to create three double page 12 by 12 layouts. And if you don't want to do it exactly, you can just use it as a jumping off point, but it even tells you how to cut the paper. So girl, you just have it all set when you use this. Now I have already made <clears throat> one double page layout that you can see uh, when you go through my YouTube playlist. Today we're going to do um, the second one and I'm kind of excited. I'm not following one of the guides. I've kind of, I've winged it. I know that's kind of scary, isn't it? So we're going to start with using a glue dot just to secure the paper. And we're going to see if I can get through this video without having to use my, uh, what is this called, a spatula to lift paper. We're going to see. That is my goal. Let's see if I can get this to stick down good. All right. So the first thing I did is I trimmed about a quarter of an inch off this and then I did the edges with some early espresso and I want to lay this here and I wanted some of this beautiful wood grain paper to show so that's the reason that I cut it smaller and we're just gonna put a little bit of edges along here alrighty and Lay this down about right there just to make sure it's even. All right, here we go. All right, now the next thing I used a close a close to my heart stamp set, and I don't have it with me right now, but it has this stamp with this rope. And you'll notice from my previous um, scrapbook layout that I used it on a different area. And if I can just find it real quick, I'd actually show it to you. Huh? Here it is. Close to my heart. If any of you have this one, it's called Cape God. And they have this rope stamp, which I love. You know, it's just a great way to add that little bit. Just that little bit. All right, so we're going to put this down. And um, I was able to cut it in half and not have to worry about it fitting the entire length and I'm going to cut this off where it goes over the edge and you'll see it all comes together rather nicely I think so we'll see all right we're going to move this one up here and like I said I'm going to trim it down and I'm just going to lay that right there all right now I want to take these two pieces right here and I want them I, I was going to use this side, but then when I had it all done, it was just way too dark with the photos that I have here. See all the beautiful greens in it? It was just too dark when I had everything else on there. So I am actually going to flip it over. See, look how that just makes all that green pop. And I want to put this, um, oh, what is this stuff called? Ah, this color right here. I want to make sure that I put that on the top. Boy, you know, I literally stopped filming so that I could look up this color. This is Cajun Craze. It's a lot to remember all these new 
uh, names for the colors, and I love stamping up names for the colors, actually, Cajun craze. Just sounds pretty sassy, don't you think? Alrighty, so I'm gonna put this right here, and I love these mats because it's real, oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I was matching this as if that was the end. Here we go. Uh, one of the things I love about these Versa mats is that it's so easy to get a straight line. Of course, as long as that's straight. Otherwise, everything else could be crooked. All right, let's see. So we have Cajun Craze, we have Old Olive, and we have Crushed Curry. Those are the main colors in this. And I want to put this right here going across there we go we are building a picture all right so now I want to put now this is what the whole story is about notice this path it's very narrow and there's a whole bunch of foliage around it so the story is what I'll be telling you in just a moment it is just so funny and if my mom's watching she's gonna die laughing all right so I want to put this in the middle there we go. Now, to fit the story, I need to do the um, dimensional tape here on the side. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this right here. Now, here's the story. And I don't want you to be reading it until I'm ready. All right, so let's put it about right there. I'm going to lay this down. I want... This is what I what I want to use for this. So hold on here. Hold on, Hoss. All right, so we're going to attach this. And I'm thinking that's the way I like it, just like that. So let me, okay, go like this. All righty. Now we're going to stick this on. And this was a girl's trip that me... Mom, it's the first girls trip we took and we took it way back in September of 2022 and <clears throat> Mom and I had both flown into Washington where my sister lives and we Met there and then we did a girls road trip all the way up through uh, the North Cascades and then to Leavenworth and all those areas. My sister planned the trip and oh my gosh, it was just such an incredibly fun trip. We just laughed all the time. We and So this is something we do every year now. You know, once you start the thing, all you got to do is to say, well, honey, where are you going? Well, I'm going to do that thing. We do that thing now. And that thing is we do a girl's trip. So that is what we do. Once a year, we schedule a girls' trip. And this past, when what, what are we in now? The end of September, we went to Cape Cod, Nantucket, and Martha's Vineyard. So this part of, part of the story, however, takes place after we had um, driven through the North Cascade, and we were in and around Leavenworth. And we had had this agreement between the three of us that if at any point we had decided that one of us wanted to take a walk, well, then that's what we would do, you know, to a, for a hike or for a walk, we would all get out and take the walk or the hike. And so my sister had seen this one area where she wanted to take a walk, and it was at Nason Ridge in Leavenworth. I want to put this, excuse me, I've got to put this down so I don't forget. Are y'all not impressed? All right. So we decided to hike this path, and this is exactly what it looked like. And we all got in our line because, as you can see, it is very narrow. So my um, sister was in front. I was then, so Gracie was in front, the dog, then my sister, then me, and then... No, I'm not even getting that right, for goodness sake. It is hard to do this and tell a story. So let me start over. So we all got in line because there wasn't a lot of room on the path, right? So we had to be in single file. So Gracie, the dog, was first. 
then my sister, then my mom, and then me. And then <clears throat> I couldn't help but notice how narrow the entire path was and how dense all this foliage is around it. Y'all can see that, right? So I started thinking, well, you know what? There can be some bears out here and we wouldn't even know it. So I started voicing my, you know, somewhat valid concern because you don't know. So here I am, I'm going, I'm talking to my mom who's in front of me and my sister who's way in the front. And I'm going, well, you guys do realize there could be a bear out here, right? And then I was saying stuff like, I mean, seriously, we wouldn't see it till it was right on us. So I was sharing my concern about all that. And my sister, who has always been the one who was always very calm, was saying, well, Laura, they'll hear us coming and they'll run away anyways. So let me finish the rest of the story in just a second after I put some more pieces down because it is so funny. And of course, Lorraine was way there up in front able to share her wisdom about these bears and where they were not, right? All right. So hold on and let me put a few more of these pieces together and then I'll be able to tell you the story. Let's slip that in there. All right, so that's right there. Now up here, I wanted to show you what I did with this. This is the Frosted Forest stamp die and um, what do you call this? Oh, golly, Pete. All right, I thought I'd uh, take a quick break and just show you how you use the mask bundle that comes in the Frosted Forest uh, actual bundle here. So you have the masks, and then you have the stamp set, and then you have the dies. So I wanted to show you how I created these trays right here because it's so fun watching the magic happen. So the first thing you do is you take, see there's a, a indent right there, that's what you always match up, and then there's the number one. So you're going to lay it down on your cardstock and then I am just going to make that V shape on my paper. So when I lift it up, I always know where this goes, right? Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Early Espresso. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna take my uh, brush here and I'm going to start on the mask. I'm still not sure if I'm even saying this right. All right, here we go. This is just so easy and fun to do. So there's my tree trunk. Let me set that aside. And now I'm gonna grab the second one. This has a number two. I'm gonna match it up right where the V shape is. And see here, I'm gonna be doing the actual, a bigger section of the leaves. And I wanna use, after I shut this, the pumpkin pie. So we're gonna take pumpkin pie open this up all right now we're gonna rub the brush in this the blending brush make sure that is matched and I'm gonna lightly go over all of it okay if you move it a little bit I really I really wouldn't worry about it you want to have the joy in it now one of the ways that I get even darker areas is I put the brush right focused in certain areas. So you see how it's darker here and over here? And I'm going to put a little bit right there in the middle. Look at that right there. That's looking pretty already, isn't it? Now watch the magic. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so there's the second one. Well, now we're going to take the third color, and I wanted to do some crushed curry. So we're going to take our crushed curry ink pad, open it up, and now I'm going to put my blending brush in it. I'm going to lay down the mask. Now see, this paper is secure. I used a glue dot to hold that down. So that's always going to stay right there. I match up the V shape again, and I'm going to get my blending brush with some yellow crushed curry on it. And I don't necessarily go over every different section of it because it is going to change some of the color. So I'm just going in certain parts that I want to put it in. You can lift it up and look. 
and I think I want even more yellow and see the yellow the crushed curry with the pumpkin pie is giving us some browns which is neat looking and I'm gonna put some up there and now watch isn't that the neatest looking tree actually I could use this in my spread also couldn't I so you see how it just varies with all of them and I used old olive here and some crushed curry here I put down the crushed curry first and then the old olive as the third mask so I just had some fun listening to my favorite podcast and I just had fun creating and bringing out the colors that I wanted to really highlight in my spread. So I'm going to set these aside real quick and we're going to finish putting this together. So one of the things I wanted to do was to put this Autumn Days and this came in the actual kit, the scrapbook kit, and these are very thin um, what do you call these two? Goodness, you know what my daughter always says? She goes, words. I got oh, totally at a wor loss what these are called because they're not stickers. Hmm. Well, I have no idea. I'll probably, I'll figure it out when I'm done, won't I? All right, so let me move this over into the corner right there, and I'm going to start building a cluster because I want little Gracie to be about right here. And these were part of the ephemera that came in the kit, if any of you have the kit. And this was, they were like this. They were a big, uh, like a chevron, and there were several different colors. Well, I wanted to do like a photo mat down here in this corner, a corner mat, and I already, um, sponge daub the edge with some brown there. So my, my goal here, if I can figure this out, is to put this on the bottom edge of the photo about right here. And I'm going to have to work quick because i got to figure out how to do this. Huh? 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 If it doesn't work out, I am literally going to take this out of the video because it theoretically it worked out all Right, how did I do this? How did I do it? Well, not like that. Let's see. How does this work? Like that? Then like no. Laura. Seriously. Oh, like this. Um, I may have to do one of those save you from myself because this all worked out. I think I have them backwards. Maybe like this. And ah, there we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. I was worried. And I wanted them down here. Okay. Yep. I will edit this out of the video. Okay, there we go. All right, that looks good. We'll take it, we'll take it. All right, I want this to be about right here because I have a few things I want to add up top there. All right, there we go. All right, so I wanted to bring out a couple of these trees sure what those are okay oh I remember what those are throw those on the floor all right so I wanted to add these trees up here and this piece right here I took out of um, I used the die and I cut the silhouette out this right here so when I was cutting it out, I cut it out like this, right? And then I put this in the center. And you'll see that on the next layout, it looks pretty. But this centerpiece that I cut out was that right there. 
So I think it really added, uh, gave me a variety in the look of the tree. So I was real excited about it. So I want this tree here and I want the green one. So I think I want to put these like this and then have this guy here in the front. So let's let's lay these down. Isn't it looking pretty? I'm I'm quite happy. I always think, okay, I got it all figured out. I'm not gonna have to do a lot of editing. I was like, oh jeez. I want and you won't see this part right here. All right, and let's lay this down. All right, there. Oh, doesn't that look so pretty? Now, where's my tree? This is a tree that has lost its leaves. That's 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 where I'm going with it. All righty. Lift this up, and I wanted it touching that. Okay. All right. So then I have this, and this says Golden Leaves, Autumn Breeze, and I wanted this to go over the top of that. And I think what I want to use is some dimensional tape. I'm going to lay this right here. Here we go. Okay. Put this on there. All right, and I want this to be about, I think right there. You know what, hold on, hold on there, because I want to bring out this guy. He is from the Fluffiest Friends, and I colored him with some um, pecan pie, some, not uh, pecan, is it pecan pie? Yeah. It's pecan pie and pumpkin pie, and then I use some Daffodil Delight. So I uh, colored him in, cut him out, and because the story is about a bear. The bear, the bear. All right, so let's put this little guy down, and I will tell you a little bit more about the story of the bear. All right, I want him right there. And I realize it's sticking up a little bit, but I want that. I think it gives it a little bit of dimension. And now we're going to add the Golden Leaves Autumn Breeze little tag. I want that right there. And that needs to stick down. All right. That looks good. And I want to add this little oak leaf to bring out some of the brown. So I'll put this right here. Love it. All right, now we have a couple of more trees that I wanted to add. And I think I can actually, all right, and I need to use this. This is just better. All right, so let's add this one about right here. That looks good. And then we're going to add this one towards the back. Okay, I want this one. Right here. I love it when things overlap a little. And then look at this tiny little mushroom. We're gonna add this down at the base where the trees are. The other trees, okay. Let me hold this, I'm gonna put this right here. Alrighty, and then I have two more little oak leaves, and I want to stick them on here on this little banner I have that I added the string that says leaves abound from all around. I think this just really adds to it, and then I'm going to tell you this story, okay? So, like I said, we had finished our drive through the North Cascades, and we were... Um, 
we had stayed in a couple of beautiful cabins and all this stuff and we were in and around Leavenworth and we had decided that whenever any of us wanted to hike we would go hiking and y'all remember I had said you know there could be a bear we we're all in our straight line and Lorraine who is ever the calm voice of reason she was just saying how there couldn't be a bear um, they'd hear us coming and they'd run away and then she goes well I'm sure there are none here they're all deep in the woods sleeping and my mom who was in front of me now she says Laura it'll be quick they'll get you first anyways and I'm thinking in my head well aren't they both just real funny right they're not the ones who's the last one in line so I just mumbled to myself I go I said well I don't know about that and I'm not sure how they how how they know that sleeping and the perimeter rules apply to them anyways I said out loud well then I started looking around and I noticed wait a minute every time I'm taking a quicker step my mom in front of me who has been sassy to no end she speeds up herself and it dawned on me that mom even though she was not saying she was scared in any way thinking there might be a bear she was making sure I could not pass her because each time I tried to get a little ahead of her on the path right so I said wait a minute I said mom 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 what are you doing are you speeding up and we all just started laughing so hard and in page two of this you're going to see the photo that my sister took of both my mom and I and it is just hilarious it is just so funny all right my friends so that's the story this is page one I'm going to give you a close-up on it I love how it has come together we're going to clip off these edges right here and I'll do that at the top but you can see how I use the frosted forest bundle to create these trees and look how they brought up the colors in the photos and I love this bear from fluffiest friends and maybe there were some bears sleeping off in the corner I don't know and then of course I added my twine right there all right my friends I love the pool tab with the story and uh, just how we brought all this together in the comments below let me know if you uh, like to go hiking in the woods and are you comfortable with being okay here's the question do you want to be the first one in line the person in the middle or the last one in line let me know in the comments below where your comfort level is when you are hiking on a narrow path in the woods all right my friends that is it for today stay tuned because in a couple of days i'm going to be doing uh the second part to this and the big reveal so until we meet again in youtube land god bless and have an incredible day bye bye